Hi, Dylan at Clearbridge here. In this tutorial, we're going to learn how to use your phone on your computer through a soft phone desktop client. You'll be able to make calls, receive calls, put calls on hold, and transfer calls all from your computer so that you can keep working efficiently wherever you have to work from. Let's get started. So the first thing you want to do is locate your desktop soft phone client on your desktop. So we'll double click that and open it up which will bring you to a login screen where you have to enter your, your username or extension, your password, and your account name. Most of you, if it's the first time you've logged in, you'll see a tutorial pop up. We're gonna skip these today, but you can always review these if you want by just clicking on your icon and going to watch tutorial. Let's go through our personal settings icon first. If we click on that, we can set our status here. We can, for, we can see an option for call forwarding where we can enter a different phone number if we wish. We have our default phone, our settings, watch tutorial, and log out. So if we click on settings, we can see where we can change our profile picture. We have our language settings, audio settings, and options to change our password if desired. You'll see your, your default home screen, which is your user screen. So if you want to group your, your network, and your contacts, all you have to do is click this create group button, enter a name for a group. So let's create a test group, select three users, confirm, and there's my test group right here. To edit this group, I would just click this pencil button and add a user, subtract a user, change the name, whatever I wish. And to delete the group, I just click the trash can and delete it. If you just wish to see which of the users in your network are online, you can just hit this toggle switch button here. Below the users, you'll see chat, conference, call history, and settings. In chat, you can chat with anybody in your network. Below the chat option is the conference call option. Below conference call is call history, which shows you all of your incoming and outgoing calls, the date and time that they came in, from who, and the duration of the call as well. You also see an icon for voicemail and recording. Again, you can access your profile settings from the settings widget right here. At the very bottom of your window, bottom left corner, you'll see the dial pad. So if we wish to make a call, all we have to do is dial it in right here just like you would a regular phone. So let's do that quickly. And that's how easy it is to place a call. Now, let's try receiving a phone call. So your call will appear in the bottom right corner. We recommend opening up the window and accepting the call. Now, once you have that window open and you've accepted your call, you see these four options at the bottom, which are mute, hold, transfer, and hang up. If you put your call on hold, that's a standard hold protocol. If you wish to transfer the call, all you do is click transfer. And then on the right side, a menu will appear. And what you can do here is just select the user that you want to transfer the call to. So if you click on one of your users, click transfer call, and your call will be transferred to them. If you wish to put your call on park, that's also possible. All you have to do is click the transfer button. Once you hit in the transfer screen pops up, you hit star three, and then the park number that you wish them wish to put the person. So I'm gonna choose one. And then you click transfer. Now your window will disappear and you'll see that your call is no longer in your screen, but that call is still parked on park one. To retrieve it, all you have to do is open up your dial pad, click star three and then that park one and dial. Now you'll retrieve that call from the person who was placed on Park 1. When you're on your user screen, you'll also see a few other icons on your contact cards that are very useful. You'll notice status settings, so if somebody's set their status to do not disturb, or if somebody is on a phone call, that'll also be displayed. Also, the gray bar next to somebody's name here will go green if they are currently online, and it's gray if they are not. 
If you wish to quickly contact somebody in your network, you can just click the phone icon and that will dial them right away. If you wish to chat with that person, you can just click the chat button and that'll bring you to the chat screen where you can type your message. If you want to search for anybody in your network, let's say you have a really large network and you're not sure what extension they're at, you can use the search bar to type in their name or if you perhaps know a couple digits of their extension but not the whole thing, you can enter that as well. So if I type in Allison, the first couple letters, her contact card appears there that shows her information. If I want to select uh, a view where it just shows me who's online and who's not, I can just hit this toggle button up at the top here, online only. And when I do that, I see all the people that have that green status bar who are online. And you toggle it back to just get your whole view. And that's all there is to using the SoftPhone desktop client. If you guys have any questions at all about how to use this, please don't hesitate to call us. We're always here to help and get you set up so that you can do your best work no matter where you're working from. Talk soon.